YouTubes, welcome back to my channel. This is a sewing related video. So I did manage to get some sewing done, which was, um, it just always feels nice. It feels like productive, but also relaxed. And it's a hobby that I enjoy. And then you get something hopefully usable out of it, uh, you know, clothing that I can wear. So that's good. This was something for me. The last thing I made was something for baby boy. And I do need to make more things for him just to use up some of my leftover bits of fabric um, that I can't make anything out of like half a metre I can make like a top or some joggers or something for him but I need to get my act together because he's getting bigger every day but anyway this was for me um, this was uh, another Tilly and the Buttons I've made so many Tilly and the Buttons I bought like a bunch of their patterns in like a bundle when I first started sort of sewing again a few years ago so that's why I just ended up making loads of their um, things. I tell a lie, the last thing I made was actually Tilling the Buttons Agnes top that I did a video on. <laughs> so I have made something else for me. Lying. Um, yeah, this is the uh, this is the Nora top that can be either this kind of long sleeved with a kind of a roll neck sweatshirt. You can also make it into like t-shirt versions. So you can make like just a straightforward t-shirt or you can make like a cropped t-shirt um, and you can have the roll neck or you can have just a normal round neck and they have the option for a split hem or normal hem. So I made the t-shirt version with the um, sort of slightly cropped with a split hem with just the normal neckline but I did long sleeves instead of short sleeves because it is uh, February and it is cold here um, but I just decided that I wanted the like slightly shorter version. Um, I have some fabric somewhere. This fabric here, <clears throat> which is like a sage green colour and it's got the kind of holes in it. <laughs> um, and this is like a jersey. Um, it's very nice. I got it um, a while ago and was thinking that I would use it for either an Agnes top or. Um, another one like this, but I'm still not 100% sure if it would be right for either of those. Um, potentially like, I don't know. So I decided to use this pink jersey, this like pale pink jersey, which I just had in the in my drawer, um, in abundance. I just had loads of it. I can't remember what I bought it for now. Probably another project that I now can't make, but um, I just had loads of it left. So I decided to use this because I wouldn't be as bothered if I kind of wasted it and it didn't work out because this is the first time that I've used the Nara pattern and um, I actually found that I'd run out of pattern paper so I couldn't trace round the pattern I just had to cut the pattern itself which is you know always terrifying I did size 3 which equates to they say UK 10, US 6, European 38 and I've used that size before I, my, I, am, I do way more now because I, I had a baby but it still seems uh, fine and it's a quite a boxy fit so it actually um, seems quite big like compared to me this is how it kind of looks anyway I haven't really shown it it's really hard to show on camera like this so I'll have to put in some shots of me wearing it obviously so I made it in this fabric <coughs> and um, I just think it's quite quite boring I mean I do like the pale pink I love pink and I have so much pink stuff um, but I kind of wish that I had like the sleeves in a different colour or something. You don't have a separate cuff, you just roll the sleeve and the hem underneath, or fold it underneath and then top stitch it. Um, you do have a separate collar, so I could have done the collar in a different colour, but it might have been nice to do the collar, cuffs and hem in a different colour, but that's, I would have to slightly amend the pattern if I wanted to do that. Um, and it turned out alright though, um, it was quite easy to put together, you just got a sleeve, You've got collar and then you've got front and back. It is a loose boxy fit. It's probably slightly on the too big side, to be totally honest. The sleeves are definitely too long, which surprised me because you turn it up about seven centimetres. So it's got quite a big turn up and I thought that would make it too short. But actually because of the way this, the sleeves sit in, I don't really know what it's all, I don't know what the terminology is, but um, the shoulder sleeve seam is probably not on my shoulder. Um, so that it was a bit deceptive how long the sleeves were going to be couldn't quite gauge until I'd sewn it all together um, and then they are a bit long and then the top is probably slightly too big but actually not as big as it looks 
it actually drapes quite well I think anyway um, I just kind of wish that it was a bit more interesting in terms of just not being all one colour with no I don't know no interest but I just always want like zany wacky patterns so I just I'm always attracted to to the fabric that has like all the colours, all the patterns, and then none of it goes together. I can't like construct an outfit because everything just clashes and just looks weird. So having something plain, some of my favourite t-shirts that I bought are just like the plain grey H&M t-shirts that I used to wear for work, was like my favourite t-shirt. and Like the exact opposite of what I would choose to wear in my normal day-to-day -day life, but actually I really loved it. So plain stuff. It is the teeniest bit um, perhaps sheer. She is probably the wrong word, but like you can see through it a tiny bit because it's obviously a paler colour and it's um, a reasonably lightweight jersey. Um, I think my sewing was quite neat, so I'm quite pleased with that. It's been a while since I did, like, I, not been that long, but I'm just not being, being very consistent. I'm sewing jersey and sewing zigzag. I'm just looking at this seam and it's so wonky now I'm saying it. Yeah, really, really good sewing and it's like incredibly wonky, but a lot of it. Um, I was quite pleased with how it um, how it finished up um, and it's got the split hem which can be a little bit awkward I've done them before and it wasn't very neat and so this is actually a reasonably neat finish for me although not perfect by any stretch I will say that the top is probably a tiny bit too short because it is cropped and then you have the split hem and you totally can't see and then you have the split in the hem which obviously comes up kind of a bit higher. So the sides, there's a bit of a draft at the side anyway. Um, but yeah, this is the top. I have to put some pictures of me wearing it in somewhere. Um, yeah, that's the Nora top. So now I don't really know what to do, or whether I should try and make the kind of straightforward t-shirt version, which has no, which isn't cropped, has no split hem, just has a round neck and short sleeves. Um, but I'm not sure if I actually would like that version, looking at it, I think it'd be a bit too boxy, just looking at like the, kind of the picture on the, uh, the left, the, the blue one, the blue t-shirt. Um, I don't know if that... I don't know if I want that. I don't know if it would really work very well in that fabric. I also have quite a lot of that fabric, I think. I need to double check. So it might be a bit of a waste. So now I'm just more confused, obviously. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think of the top and of the Nara pattern. Let me know if you have any suggestions of the easy, easy patterns um, that I could use for that green um, fabric. I do think it would kind of work for an Agnes top, but then I have like about 400 Agnes, well, I have like four Agnes tops now. Do I need another Agnes top? No, obviously not. Um, I also kind of feel like it's still quite cold and I would quite like a long sleeve top, but I don't know if I want to make a long sleeve top. <laughs> I don't know. I think that fabric would look quite cute as like a spring top and then that, so that would be short sleeve but then I get cold all the time. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, if anyone knows the answer please leave it in the comments. Um, if you've liked the video, if you've liked the top, if you like sewing, give me a like um, and please subscribe to see more videos.